All right. Hello, everybody. Welcome to Open, OpenStack here. Um, I'm Sean McFerrin. I'm the uh, offering manager for the Fujitsu K5 Cloud in uh, the US market. And uh, this is a service that we've deployed globally. So it's a pretty amazing uh, cloud service that we've launched uh, recently. And I'm here to tell you a little bit about it and what we've done to uh, enhance it with, uh, enhance our OpenStack deployment. So, Fujitsu K5 Cloud Service is a enterprise cloud service that we've launched. It started off in Japan and now it's available in other countries. It's uh, uh, the most open, compatible, agile cloud platform in the marketplace today. It's the largest uh, OpenStack deployment that we know of in, in the world. Uh, we sell it not only as a private cloud, but, as an, but also as a public cloud service in the US. And uh, it's been designed specifically for the enterprise and uh, integrated with uh, native tool sets and a lot of PaaS services are, are on it. Uh, it's SAP certified as a, both a HANA and a SAP cloud uh, service. Comes with a lot of different PaaS layers, API management tools and so forth. I'll show you some of that in a minute. Um, it also supports VMware and bare metal options, so it's not just a, a, a pure uh, open environment. And uh, <clears throat> we designed it to support both the, you know, those uh, new cloud native uh, systems of engagement systems with things like Cloud Foundry, but uh, also to support hardcore enterprise systems of record, you know, big databases and so forth. Um, so it's got a really strong open stack design. Uh, our public cloud options are actually operated uh, as a global service. So we actually have one operation center that runs all the different uh, regions and availability zones we have around the world. Uh, so it's pretty interesting in that way. As I mentioned, we sell it in different flavors. So you can get a pure public cloud option or a, a virtual private hosted, which is we can dedicate blades just to you so you're not sharing a server with other people for more security. But you can also get that private version, the dedicated, and what we can do a dedicated K5 in our data center that's it's yours, it's your private cloud, we operate it, but you just consume it. Or we could do the same thing in your data center. So we'd put a K5 again, Fujitsu owns the infrastructure in these cases. You just buy it like you would a public cloud service, you just consume it as a, as a cloud service, just like you would pri or a public cloud. We also sell the building blocks to build uh, cloud services. So if you want to build your own open stack cloud service, we have a range of hardware, software, and a, a lot of partnerships with different people in this room <laughs> to deliver uh, you know, cloud services. So I'm here today to talk about our some, some just a few uh, of our open stack improvements that we've added to our K5 to make it scale and do some of the things we wanted. So one of the first things we did was uh, add a, a remote console and we really improved the security for it. We, we did it auto scale for performance, uh, network tools, and then uh, in, improvements to the uh, load balancer. So I'm gonna talk about some of these a little more detail. Uh, the remote console improvements were you know, really improve the security for a remote console. So OpenStack as is, you know, they, they repeated the use of the same URL and, you know, it was an unlimited time frame and you, you really couldn't open a firewall. But in this, with our K5, what we did is we created a one-time URL. So when you open up that remote console, there you go, you get that, that you know, URL. <clears throat> it's got an expiration and after a period of time, it will automatically disconnect for security purposes, of course. And then, but you can open the firewall when the console is requested and close the firewall when it's disconnected. So, you know, our, again, our aim was to increase enterprise security for those um, really mission critical workloads that our customers seem to have. <laughs> and then auto scale. So we really wanted to improve the way auto scaling worked and uh, you know, we noticed a real problem with K5 server when we had the, the load balancer, the salometer traffic, you know, was, was causing a lot of performance issues. So our resolution was we just extended the polling period from one minute to 10 minutes 
and it really didn't affect the ELB functionality at all. So the outcome was a reduction of over 13 million traffic events per day in just one of our K5 regions. Now, we have five K5 regions, each with two availability zones or more. So for us, it's a big number to reduce that kind of traffic in our global management network uh, that's controlling K5 services for us. Uh, we also worked on uh, building some custom network troubleshooting tools. When you're supporting a lot of customers out in a public cloud environment, um, it's really helpful to be able to diagnose when there's a problem, right? So, and uh, since networking is such a critical element here, we wanted to be able to uh, collect and integrate the information from neutron, compute, and network nodes, and really be able to display the relationships of all these resources. There's thousands and thousands of nodes and network connections that we're talking about. Uh, and so how do you get in there and, and troubleshoot if you can't diagnose properly, right? So we created a, a configuration validator that can go in there and really look at all the information from all these different sources and uh, give our troubleshooting teams the kind of information they need to get right to the heart of the problem. What's causing the holdup? So like I said, we, just in one of our regions, we have 20,000 plus connections that have to be uh, manage. So when you're in a multi-tenant environment and you're trying to di diagnose a problem, this is really very useful. And then uh, <clears throat> we have a network log collection service that we've added. So we can go into the <clears throat> security systems and the firewall systems and uh, start to look at the record traffic logs and really look at, you know, so we have a, a log mechanism now in Neutron to allow for that log collection for, for troubleshooting and and also for security audits, right? So when you're getting into a security environment and you want to pass compliance, you, you have to have logs in order to do that. So these, these are critical elemental features for getting the kind of compliance that you need to have. For our ELB, we've been able to uh, customize the SSL protocols to uh, really you know, create and delete security policies for our SSL encryption. So it gives you improved control of notification scripts. You know, you can customize the meter information for not notification and it provides an API for our cloud operators to update the ELP en engine and, and to better define how we meter and, and track information. So that was really quick and really fast and uh, I'm more than happy to take any questions if any of you have some questions. The, uh, Fujitsu booth is right over there, and as Chris mentioned earlier, we have a, a fun uh, virtual reality climbing game. If you like to climb, come over and do that. Uh, we have a, uh, a prize to give away. It's a nice little drone that you can register to win. And then we have some really good presentations to talk to you about uh, more of our K5 and, K5 and the other uh, cloud services that we're, we're here to present at this forum. So I don't know if anybody has any questions. All right, well, we'll be over there if you have any later. Thank you.